All right, let's also talk about the midpoint formula. Uh, this one can be a little bit tricky. Uh, just do your best to uh, listen to the way I talk about the midpoint formula throughout this lecture. All right, so here is our midpoint formula. Okay, right here. All right, you can see that given two endpoints, so here we have A and B, if I want the midpoint, all right, I'm going to add up my x's and divide by 2, and I'm going to add up my y's and divide by 2. The number one mistake you guys try to make is you subtract your x's and you subtract your y's before dividing by 2. All right, let's talk about synonym for the midpoint. A synonym would be the average. All right, so if you have two exams in this class, how are you going to get your average? you're going to add up your two exams and divide by two. And so the key here is to think of the midpoint as the average of the x-coordinate and the average of the y-coordinates, okay? And so again, it's very important that you understand you are going to add your x's and divide by two. You're going to add your y-coordinates and divide by two. All right, so let's go through an example here. Let's find the midpoint between 8, negative 4, and negative 6, 1. Well, I'm going to literally plug, this is that plug and chug math you guys love, plugging 8, negative 4, and negative 6, 1 into my midpoint formula, okay? And again, I'm making sure I add my x's and add my y's, all right? I simplify uh, the x-coordinate, so I get 8 plus negative 6, which is 2, divided by 2 gives me 1. And then on the y side, I have negative 4 plus 1, all right, which is negative 3 divided by 2 gives me negative 3 over 2. And so this point, 1, negative 3 over 2, is the point in the middle between our original two points or coordinates. Okay, it's the midpoint. All right, let's talk about another use of the midpoint. All right, uh, so this is where we're given one endpoint, all right, so I'm giving you guys the endpoint, negative 6, 12, and I give you the midpoint, 8, negative 2, and I ask you to find the other endpoint, all right? This is a very popular SAT question. All right, so again, we have one of the endpoints and we have the middle point, but we don't have the other endpoint. So how the heck do we use this formula to solve for that other endpoint? All right, well, notice that I plugged, quote unquote, the midpoint over on the left side. It is my midpoint, so I have 8, negative 2 as my midpoint. And then I plug what I can into my midpoint formula. I have my x2, y2, so I have my negative 6 and I have my 12 on the y side. All right, I write both of them as fractions divided by 2. I'm just missing an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate because I'm missing one of my endpoints. All right, so what do I do with this mess? Well, I'm going to rewrite just the x part. I'm going to take my 8, which is my x-coordinate for the midpoint, and I'm going to set it equal to the x-coordinate of the midpoint written as x plus negative 6 over 2. Can we solve this for x? Absolutely we can. We can multiply both sides by 2, and we can add 6, and we get x equals 22. On the other side, I'm going to take the y-coordinate of my midpoint and set it equal to the part inside the parentheses on the right, or rather known as the y-coordinate of my midpoint. So I have negative 2 equals y plus 12 all divided by 2. Can we solve this for y? You bet you we can, all right? So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. I'm going to subtract 12, and I get negative 16. And so the coordinates of the other endpoint are 22, negative 16, okay?